Hello guys, welcome back to Yelan App. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss the Buddha Mega Menu and Navigation Shopify app tutorial. So if you're interested, let's get started. So you might be wondering, how do you start using Buddha Mega Menu here? How do you navigate the app? How do you set it up? Well, I'll be showing you exactly how to do that. So first, let's go and discuss what is Buddha Mega Menu. So Buddha Mega Menu is a super popular app here that you can install on your Shopify store to make your navigation menus way more powerful and user friendly. Now Shopify's built-in menu is actually pretty basic here. So if you try accessing them, and also it's just just drop downs here and not much styling or structure. But if you got a lot of products, collections, or pages, and you want something that more organized and visually clean, well in this case you could use Buddha Mega Menu. That's where Buddha Mega Menu comes in. Now, this actually lets you turn your those uh, those plain menus into mega menus. Those big drop downs with multiple columns, images, icons, and links grouped to, uh, by categories. Think of what you see on sites like Best Buy or Nike, where uh, you hover over shoes and get this big panel with uh, with men's, women's, and running's in a lot more. So yeah, how do we set this up? How do we install it? Well, this one's pretty easy. So first, you want to go to Shopify.com, log in into your account, and basically access your store. Now, at the bottom left of your screen, you want to go and click on Settings, and you want to go and choose the option here that says Apps and Sales Channel, which in this case should be under Markets or above Domains. Now, in here, you want to go to the top right here, go ahead and click on the Shopify App Store at the top right. Should open up Shopify App Store here, which in this case, what you need to do is you want to go and just search for Buddha mega menu so let's just type in buddha mega menu and from here mega menu it's gonna press enter it's going to give you different apps but we are going to choose the very first one which is going to be this one let's go and click on it now from here you want to go and just review a few things like for example what are the features that you can expect here the ratings obviously it's quite popular it's 4.7 rating here with a lot of people using it and also, this is the pricing here for Buddha Mega Menu. Now, by default, you could use the app for free. So you have unlimited free flyout mega menus, unlimited menu items, and link lists here, and a lot more. But if you want to get more out of the uh, actual app here, you may want to subscribe to the Mega Zen pricing or the subscription here which in this case is everything is all free here free for dev stores tabs and contact unlimited images and videos budget badges add to cart cut down translate menu and a lot more so you can even translate your menu here according to the app itself so let's go and click on the install button you see at the top left here and from here we just need to approve the installation now in order for you to approve the installation just click on install at the bottom right here and from here, what we need to do is we want to just wait for it. And it's going to say, Buddha Mega Menu Navigation. So you could go and scroll down a bit here. You could go and choose your plan. Like what I said, you have a free plan here. You could go and choose a free plan. And also, you need to read their terms and condition, privacy policy here if you want. And if you have a discount code, you could go and use that here at the very bottom as well. So go and click on choose a free plan. Now, from here, you should load up your uh, Mega Menu or the UI itself. So, this might take a while. So, I would suggest you to uh, sit back and relax here for now. And it's going to say done. But once it's done, you should be able to see the option here that says create your menu. Now, from here, you can just start creating your menu. Let's go ahead and first create our item first. Let's go and click on add item. Now from here, you can go and select the icon for it. Like for example, let's go and choose a static icon. Let's go and choose a home page. I can add your uh, name here. Like for example, uh, I want to say this is going to be home and all caps there. And you can go ahead and add label. So you can add this new sale or hot here. So you could also add tags. They also have the enable countdown here, which allows you to add a countdown on this specific item. Let's go and click on OK. And as you can see, we've just added our first home. Now from here, you could also add a, a sub uh, menu type here, which in this case, by default, it's going to be set to none. Now, if you just want to set this to three, simple, tab, or contact. So, for example, you want to go and choose three. Now, from here, you can add another item, and so on and so forth. Like, for example, there's going to be a sample page. Let's go add a sample page. Set the icon here, static icon, and let's go and choose globe. Now, from here, select link here. You can go and choose the pages that you have. Like, for example, page here. You can go and choose your page, or any page you have right now. So, let's just say it is going to be FAQ. Let's change this up a little bit. 
You can add your description here as well. But for now, let's go ahead and add a new label on there. Now, from here, by the way, in order for you to use labels, you need to have a membership plan here in order for you, uh, but still, you can view them. However, they will not be safe. Let's go ahead and click on OK. And as you can see, we've just added FAQ. So whenever we click on our homepage here, this will show our FAQ. Now, you could also add items on it. Basically, the name itself uh, gives you the option, or for because we chosen the option here, three, you could add branches into it. As you can see right now, you can also add items or in this items, which is a great way for you to categorize all the products or pages that you currently have. Now, you could also add another item here. Click on add item. And maybe I want to say this is going to be using live icons. It's going to choose the heart button. So in this case, maybe we want to say this is going to be the favorites. Let's go and make sure that it's actually uh, capitalized. Let's go and select the link for this one. And let's just say we want to show uh, our uh, all collections. Now from here, let's go and click on OK. And you could also specify what type this is. Now, if you choose simple, which in this case allows you to add widgets, which in this case allows you, like, for example, we want to choose one here. Let's go and choose uh, the cart. And let's go and cho uh, choose, like, products. From here, you go and choose uh, the link widget here. So you link a uh, list with images, featured project, uh, product here, featured collection, blog post. Let's go and choose featured uh, collection. You go and choose your collection. So I have multiple collections here. Just go and choose collection one. Now from here, as you can see, we have description. You can uh, add it, click on OK. And it's going to add our products here. But in this case, the, pro the photo itself might appear if you didn't set up the image for that specific um, collection. So just keep that in mind. Now you can also choose tab here, which allows you to basically uh, use a tab format here. So in this case, another way for you to organize your uh, actual menu. But in this case, this is for me, uh, mem uh, paid members. You can only use that if you have uh, a paid membership. Now you can also choose the option here that says contact, which allows you to basically add a contact page here. But again, you need to upgrade your plan in order for you to use it. So yeah. So by the way, you could go and click on save at the top right here if you want to go and proceed with some. By the way, I'm going to switch over to a different type of submenu for favorites. So let's go and choose the simple one here as an example. Click on save at the top. All right. Let's go and just wait for it to fully load up. And once it's done, it's going to say the app must be enabled in your team embed app here. Let's go and click on enable app now. And from here, we just need to wait for the editor to fully load up. But in the editor itself, you want to go to the left panel here. You just need to make sure that Pudo Mega Menu is turned on. So by default, it's going to be turned on. Just click on Save at the top right. Now, once you've done that and actually visit our store, let's go and go back into our uh, Shopify store here. Click on the I icon here to basically view our store. And as you can see in our store here, whenever we go to our menu here, as you can see, there's the FAQ, our favorites, and yeah. So that's basically how you use uh, Buddha Mega Menu here to basically enrich your store or your website here on Shopify. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe. See you later. Thank you for watching.